Hello everyone, this is Sarika Srivastava. Uh, we are going to discuss the topic acquisition of new genes. Earlier we have discussed that how genes evolved, uh, that is by duplication, uh, either by uh, duplication of the whole genome or duplication of a single chromosome or its part. Today we will discuss how uh, acquisition of new genes occur with the help of duplication of a gene or a group of genes. Duplication of individual genes and group of genes have occurred frequently in the past. As we can see here in this diagram, it is a diagram of gene duplications during the evolution of the human globin gene families. Comparison of these, the comparison of their nucleotide sequences enables the evolutionary relationship between the globin genes to be deduced during the molecular phylogenetics techniques. The initial split was between an ancestral gene that gave rise in one image to the modern gene for the muscle oxygen binding protein myoglobin and in the other lineage to the globin genes. This duplication is estimated to have occurred approximately 800 million years ago. The proto-alpha and proto-beta lineages split by a duplication that occurred 500 million years ago and the duplication within the alpha and beta families took place during the last 200 million years ago. Note that each set of genes is now a different chromosome. The myoglobin gene is on chromosome number 22, whereas the alpha globin genes are on chromosome number 16 and the beta globin genes are on chromosome number 11. This is the diagram of hemoglobin. It contains alpha globin genes, alpha globin protein as well as beta globin protein. This is a diagram showing different human globin genes. So firstly, as we can see here, an ancestral globin gene was there. This gene was duplicated and two of its identical types were formed. Further, mutations accumulated in these genes leading to a slight change in their composition and leading to the formation of alpha and beta gene. Later, this alpha gene and beta genes were transposed to different chromosomes. So, on different chromosomes, again further mutations accumulated, further, further duplications also occurred and with the help of this, in alpha side, zeta and alpha, two types of genes were there, which later formed zeta, epsilon zeta, epsilon alpha 2, epsilon alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 1, and alpha theta genes. And all these comprise of alpha globin gene family on chromosome number 16. Whereas, if we look towards beta gene, this beta gene further mutated to epsilon and gamma gene this gamma gene further mutated to g gamma and a gamma and this beta gene itself mutated to psi beta delta and beta so beta glo so all these comprise of beta globin genes on chromosome number 11